Today is a good day to do some fertilizing in the garden. Let's see. You know what? That is for the flowers. Yeah, we'll use that today. And we'll use that today. gallons of water. is the tomatoes and the cucumbers and uh, those, those, all those types of plants so So the 15 gallon bucket, of course, I used a cup of uh, fish emulsion. And now I'm going to use a 5 gallon pail with fish emulsion and a quarter cup of uh, more, more blue. I do for the tomatoes. And the next thing we're going to fertilize is the uh, Canadian watermelon. The next thing we're going to water is our bell peppers. Or to say fertilize. Next will be the zucchinis. Oh, there's a nice little zucchini in there too. Perfect. And we can't forget our cucumbers. And the last thing we're going to do is my tombling tom tomatoes. These are a little trickier because they're sitting at an angle. I'm just 
of this back in here. And next we're going to start doing the root crops. For me to harvest my garlic this is a hard neck variety what particular variety it's called I do not know these were given to me from our friends so uh, let's go ahead and start pulling these up Okay, so now it's time to do a walk around in the garden. And uh, since my garden is so small, I actually have to get by, behind some other ones. So um, these are Roma tomatoes. And getting quite a few on those. Cucumbers, there's a few in there. And they're doing nice. Actually, I have them crawling along the uh, crawling along on this wire. Looking good. More Roma tomatoes. Uh, here, this is my zucchini plant. One zucchini in there, or a couple of zucchinis in there now, so they're coming along. Uh, this is my pepper plants. And the small peppers are just starting there now. And this is the uh, herb tower, or, or this, this one here is actually uh, tomatoes. Uh, tumbling Tom tomatoes if I remember correctly and uh, they are just starting to turn red now uh, 
This is the Canadian watermelon. It's starting to put on some growth. And it'll only have about 30 to 45 days left of of growing in, in, in my area. So we'll see what happens. This you saw me do earlier. This is the garlic harvest. Uh, Walla Walla onions. Looking pretty good. Uh, down here. This is golden beets. I like to grow these every year. Yeah, here's one there. Come along. Time to harvest the potatoes. Another herd tower here. Beans are looking nice. Lots of yellow beans on this side. The peas are just about done for this year. Uh, carrots. These are Solyndra beets. And they get long like carrots, but they're but they're beets and they're red. They're great for pickling. Brussels sprouts and they're just starting to form some of their some of the Brussels. I've had a little bit of uh, cabbage worm damage but uh, I've been trying to keep on top of them. This lettuce here I'm going to be transplanting that probably this evening. Looking good guys. And on this side, we have uh, cherry tomatoes. These are beefsteak tomatoes. These middle ones here are a, what would they call a starfire tomato. And another beef steak tomatoes here. Oh look, I have a star fire in there starting to turn uh, red. Very nice. And another cherry tomato. Uh, with the leaves turning yellow, so I'm not too sure what's happening there, but uh, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. But this is the update for my garden for this year, or for this year, for this month anyway, or this growing season. Look, another good size green bell pepper in there. Probably almost picked that one today. Wanted to get a closer look at the watermelon. I think I have a little one right, where's my finger? So I have a little one right there just starting, so let's see what happens. It's all in fun anyway. Compost bins. Well, thanks for watching. I know it's been a, it's been a little while since I've done a video. I mean, I've been a little bit busy with grandchildren now, so uh, this is the first actual weekend I've had the opportunity to uh, actually do a video so hope you enjoyed uh, talk to you again all later bye